Today we are going to be reading a book called A Gift for Wally in a book called Five Minute Christmas Stories. And, at, and there are 12 Christmas stories. Today, but, and here we go. Wally and Evie peeked over the top of a pile of garbage. The humans were acting strange. What were they up to now? They saw two men stringing small cor- colored lights along the rusty iron fence. Strangest of all, the captain from the spaceship, Axamon, was start singing in a loud, joyful voice. Wally and Evie listened to the word, words carefully. Confused, they looked at each other. Each other, Rudolph in a glowing nose. They thought that Rudolph must be a kind of robot like Wally. And Wally and Evie sneaked closer to where the humans were working. They called their bot friends over to the, take a look. While the robots watched in, Curiously, the humans hung a green circle, white, small, red dots on a storefront barn of the humans started singing. One little girl even shook a silver bell. Some of the robots had seen Bever look like this before when they were living on Axamon. It seemed to happen every 12 months. They have never been able to figure out it out. We're going to be on a big page. Wally looked closely at the humans. He tried to understand what made this so different. Then he put his little metal finger on it. The humans looked happy. Most of the time on the Axamon they had looked, tried, they had looked and tried bored, but they was, there was something able what they were doing right then. They're there on earth that seemed to make them very happy. Wally thought that he, if he made the humans so happy, maybe it would make the robots happy too. The robots studied the humans for hours. They stood, they stored what they saw in the computer brains. Then they set out to copy the humans. Some of the bots picked up trash, trash left by the humans, bites of tinsel, fake holly, and scrapped a birthday colored paper. The lights, the light bots collect hundreds of string of lights. Wally already had a compiler in his trailer. He'd always thought they were pretty, pretty, and Evie loved them. When it was electric, he was turned on the lights, shone so brightly that they looked like a super rive. Mahung up old socks on a wall. He had no idea what, why anyone would make want to put socks on the wall, but the humans were doing it. So he figured that he would, he would, two vacuum bots suck, sucked 
up enough packing peanuts to fill several boxes y- unite <sighs> unitely he also v- vacuumed up a nose full of dust ah shoo! he sneezed little white peanuts floats floating down from t- from the air little white peanut coating the floor like a blanket of snow Wally and Evie roamed and grounds outside the trailer for more things to use Wally went one way Evie went the other Evie picked up a piece of shiny metal that she found some scraps of wrapping paper she stored them inside her just carbon suddenly she overheard two humans talking excitedly one from them was a captain next page the next I just love Christmas, don't you? The other human said they the lights of decoration, the cookies, the presents, Christmas is my, my favorite time of year. Christmas. What a lovely word. Evie rolled it around her in her mind. It speaked in all her so certs was that the name of for, for what the humans were doing she stopped in to listen more closely to wait they were saying yes the captain said slowly but don't forget christmas isn't about things it's about giving not just presents it's about showing your friends and family that you care about them the captain's word hummed it inside evie's evie robots didn't have family but they did have friends and she had one friend who meant more to her than any one any other wally he had come to save her when she was on the axamon he had ga- given her a s- spare parts of had cared of her and watched it over her evie needed to show wally but what kind of present would do that evie evie roamed far and wide she scre- screeched and scra- screeched in she found many pieces of junk but none of them were was quiet right then far from Wally's trailer her gas locked of something small and in the dirt it was the perfect present Here we go with the longer one. Two days later, it was Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, Evie. Christmas Evie. The bots had pre- prepared a celebration just like the humans. Some of the smaller bots were straining with. 
excitement, the umbrella bot wore a pointy red hat to the s- to the songs they had heard. They didn't always understand the humans human words, so they made up some of their own. Well. All the bots were celebrating the holidays in their own high teach way. Evie pulled Wally aside. She held out a present wrapped in pretty print paper. Wally looked surprised. Eva. He asked. Evie nodded. Wally turned the present. He was so busy admiring how the shiny paper shimmered in the colored lights that he almost missed Evie mounting mon- mon- to o- him. Open it, Evie. Si- silent. Wally carefully unwrapped the present. He folded up each scratch of paper and laid it down, laid it on the ground next to him. Finally, he pulled away the last piece. In his hands. Wally held a little every green a minute Christmas tree. The longer vision of Evie's name was extra tasseling. Veteran Excel. She had been trained to find plant plants and was draw to the little tree. She knew that Wally, with his kind ways of big heat, would take better care of this present than anyone. Wally and Evie went outside together. They dug a hole in the earth of. And planted the Christmas tree. Wally gently pla- placed a shiny silver star on top. Wally and Evie looked at the tree. The star twinkled brightly. It reflected the light from the real star shining far above in the sky. In the night sky, Evie reached it, reached it out her hand. Wally took it. Eva, he said. Now he understood why humans liked Christmas so much. The end.